It may seem like an odd choice, but more and more women are choosing to forego underwear for the sake of comfort, health or appearance. But is it the right move for you? Let's break down what exactly happens to your body when you stop wearing underwear. No one likes getting an infection down there. It can be itchy, debilitating and downright annoying. Turns out, if you stop wearing underwear, you may reduce your chances of developing a urinary tract or yeast infection. This is especially true for those who suffer regular bouts of vaginal infections. But why? According to Dr. Nini Mai, speaking with the website Well and Good, underwear can trap excess moisture and microbes, creating a moist environment that bacteria and fungi can thrive in, including candida, the most common culprit that causes yeast infections. This can happen while you're sleeping or at the gym, especially if you're wearing non-breathable underwear. Underwear may also cause a UTI, with the material inadvertently facilitating the spread of bacteria around your private parts. While there isn't hard evidence that directly links a lack of underwear to fewer yeast infections, experts say that doing so as a precaution isn't a bad idea. If you stop wearing underwear, you may avoid itchy, allergic reactions, such as a localized rash known as contact dermatitis. This is often your skin's reaction to different dyes, chemicals, and preservatives and other materials found in underwear, including latex, which can cause an allergic reaction on its own. One way to prevent an allergic reaction is to wear hypoallergenic or latex-free underwear, or skip underwear altogether. While ditching your underwear right before bedtime isn't a hard and fast rule, the practice could help give your lady bits a cool break, especially if you wear underwear during the day. Simply put, your vagina needs fresh air sometimes. As OBGYN Elise Kelly-Jones told Healthline, I believe the vulva area should be exposed to the air, just like any other area of your body. This nightly ritual could be especially helpful for women who are susceptible to vaginal infections. Dr. Nancy Harter, an OBGYN, told Glamour that people prone to vaginal issues especially should consider sleeping without underwear, saying that exposure to the air can help to keep things clean and dry in the long run. Can you tell I'm not wearing any underwear? Yes? Good. Whether you feel gross about the idea of going commando or not, it may not be a bad idea to stop wearing underwear, at least occasionally if you're experiencing irritation or chafing down there. Friction typically occurs when the underwear you're wearing is made up of artificial fabrics, which can chafe and irritate the skin, including the labia, exposing you to bleeding or injury, especially if the underwear is too tight. According to Royal College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists spokesperson Dr. Vanessa McKay, speaking to The Sun, you're actually more susceptible to chafing or injury if you're menopausal, with older women having thinner skin in their private parts that can leave them more susceptible to friction-based irritation and injury. It's true that going panty-free may help prevent chafing and irritation down there, however, that's also dependent on what pants you're wearing. It's one thing if you're wearing loose-fitting pants like pyjamas, but if you're wearing tight pants like jeans, sans underwear, you may be exposing your lady bits to even more irritation from the tougher fabric. Irritation may come in the form of redness and itchiness, which mimics symptoms of vaginal infections when it's actually just inflammation. If you wax or shave downstairs, you may want to opt for a skirt, dress or loose pants if you stop wearing underwear every day. OBGYN Dr. Maria Sophocles told Women's Health, The trend to shave or wax or laser pubic hair, which is a natural protective barrier, has made the delicate skin of the vulva even more vulnerable to irritation from tight clothing. If you've chosen to stop wearing underwear every day, you should know it's pretty safe to go underwear free at the gym or on your morning run. But you might notice odour coming from your lady parts faster. OBGYN Alyssa Dweck told Shape, Perspiration allows skin bacteria in hair-bearing areas, including the genital area, to cause body odor. If you're going panty-free, there's no barrier between you and your workout shorts or leggings. So, instead of the sweat hitting your underwear, it goes straight to your pants, causing you to notice that sweaty odor you know and hate faster than you otherwise would. Choosing not to wear underwear during a workout ultimately comes down to personal preference, and it may actually even improve your performance. As Dr. Dweck put it, Some women prefer to go commando during running, elliptical, spinning, kickboxing, etc., which affords less chafing, less visible lines in tighter workout clothes, and gives a sense of more mobility and flexibility. 
If you decide to stop wearing underwear during the day, you may introduce your lady parts to some unwelcome company. While it's extremely rare to contract pubic lice or crabs from being out in the world without underwear, you may be increasing your chances of foreign bacteria contacting your skin if your skirt or dress accidentally hikes up on a public bus or subway seat. But you don't have to let that stop you from going commando in public. Just be careful to keep your skirt down. And if you're at the gym and plan to sit on a workout bench or bike seat, your pants will provide the barrier you need to keep you safe from harm. Daily showers are an obvious way to keep your downstairs clean, especially if you're out and about all day sans underwear. OBGYN Jessica Shepard told the website Well and Good, Showering can remove bacteria and debris, and if you're not showering every day, this can lead to excess bacteria leading to vaginal irritation and infections, such as bacterial vaginosis or yeast infections. So as long as you're practicing good hygiene and common sense, going commando in public isn't dangerous. If you stop wearing underwear, it may not just be more comfortable, but it could also help improve your blood circulation, especially if you've typically worn tight shapewear like Spanx for a slimmer appearance. Women's health professional Dr. Donica Moore said in an interview with Considerable that really tight garments can cause nerve impingement and decreased circulation. And since shapewear is generally tougher to pull down, some women may avoid using the restroom until they really can't hold it anymore, which she says isn't a great idea. Yet another thing you don't have to worry about when you skip the underwear entirely. If you do wear tight underwear for a long time, you may experience unwanted tingling in the area, a result of poor circulation. Going commando could help prevent this, as long as you don't wear pants that could also cut off your circulation. Tight undergarments, shapewear, or other clothing may also cause pressure on the stomach that pushes acid into the esophagus. According to Jonathan Wilson, general surgeon at the London Clinic, if you don't have a reflux problem yet but have a predisposition to it, then wearing tight garments could tip you over the edge into being a sufferer. While these issues only come up with particularly tight garments, it's still something that can be avoided by not wearing underwear. If that's a trade-off that works for you, there's nothing weird about pursuing it. As OBGYN Amanda Callen summed up to Cosmopolitan, Again, do what feels comfortable, and if you're comfortable going commando in jeans or your everyday clothes, go for it. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more list videos on lifestyle advice are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.